Hi, this is Tali reporting to you from Buildry.com at the 2009 PCBC conference in San Francisco, and I'm here with Terry Allsberg from Warmboard, CEO of Warmboard and Inventor, and um, he's here to tell us a little bit about his company and his product. Uh, hello, and thank you for uh, interviewing us. Uh, what would you like to know? Um, well, why don't you tell me a little bit about uh, how you came up with the idea? Well, I was an architect, and um, I had a home office and was going to remodel my house. I wanted it to be my sample bag of all the best things you could put into a house. A number of my clients had done radiant systems. I knew that that was a coming thing in architecture, and I wanted to put radiant in my own home. And there was no good way to put it in. I looked at all the various ways that it was done. Most of them seemed pretty stupid. Uh, I have a background in physics also before I switched to architecture, and so I knew a little bit about thermodynamics. And... Um, we were predominantly using concrete to conduct heat, and it seems stupid to me to use concrete to conduct heat. We don't make frying pans out of concrete, we make them out of aluminum. And so it made a lot more sense to make an aluminum-based radiant system it would be far more thermodynamically efficient. And uh, there were no good aluminum systems on the market, and uh, uh, my father used to tell me the best engineer was a lazy man who was just trying to find an easier way to do something, so I tried to find an easier way to do it in my own house, never intending to start a company or build a product around it, I was just an architect. It ended up becoming very, very popular, and I ended up becoming uh, a, a manufacturer of uh, a fast-growing building product. Oh, so um, can you tell me a little bit about the product? Well, it's essentially a piece of plywood, structural subfloor. It comes in four by eight sheets of tongue and groove. It's quite thick. It's an inch and an eighth thick. We route a pattern of grooves in it. We stamp a sheet of aluminum to match the groove pattern. If we look over here, we can see this is a, a slightly bigger piece of the product. You can see it has a, a tangential groove, some arc grooves, some straight grooves, and it's a modular kind of a system. There are uh, four kinds of panels, and it, by mixing and matching them, you can create almost any kind of uh, uh, layout that you want to in a house. All radiant systems tend to have serpentine patterns of grooves that run back and forth from their surface like this. And uh, by mixing and matching our uh, turn panels and our straight panels as part of our system, you can get pretty much any kind of loop layout that you want in your house, which allows you to zone rooms individually and, uh, and meet any particular design requirement. We have this particular set of drawings here because it shows that uh, even though they're all 4 by 8 sheets, just like all plywood built homes, plywood's very, very flexible, and you can create angles and curves and almost anything that you want in any house design that you desire. So when someone purchases the product, it comes assembled just like this? Yes, it comes as uh, pallets of 4 by 8 uh, tongue and groove plywood. Um, people often ask who knows how to install it. I tell them any carpenter that has a skill saw, a set of bags, and a nail gun already knows how to install it. It cuts with a skill saw, it nails with a nail gun. It's just as easy to put in as any other subfloor. You do need to follow our map that we've done for you on those uh, drawings that we just showed. Uh, in putting down the panels in the correct order so you get the right tube uh, layout. But apart from that, it nails to uh, uh, joists directly uh, and is fastened and treated just like any other structural subfloor. And that's another nice feature about it too is now anything you want to put on top of warm board, you would also put on just as you would in conventional structural subfloor. So for example, you see we have a large you know, picture here in our booth of hardwood. Hardwood in the past has been very difficult to put on to um, radio systems, especially the concrete-based ones, because it's almost impossible to attach a hardwood in a good way to concrete. Uh, but because we are a plywood subfloor and an ideal depth for nailing hardwood to, inch and eighth is the preferred depth of hardwood of uh, plywood to attach hardwood to, uh, you can nail your hardwood directly to it. People often ask, well, how do you avoid hitting the tubes when you're nailing the hardwood down? We always kind of jokingly say, well, we recommend doing your nailing in daylight hours with your eyes open. So uh, as you can see from this picture here, you can clearly see the tubes when you're nailing down hardwood. And the same is true for attaching uh, uh, carpet. You would just nail the carpet tack strips around the perimeter and stretch carpet and pad over, the, uh, uh, over the, the, the panel. And if you're putting down tile, you'll screw down a backer board and you'll thin set tile directly to it. Again, these are all very conventional techniques and it was one of the, the, the central ideas behind warm board was that Radiant's always been something that's been added to a structure, either underneath a subfloor, on top of the subfloor. It's really never been integrated into conventional frame construction as we do it, modern frame construction as we do it in the U.S. today. And because um, warm board is part of the, the frame of the house, everything then becomes very easy, becomes very standard. Door heights don't change, counter heights don't change. Um, you room, move from room to room to room, and as you go from tile to carpet to hardwood, all the levels don't change. 
Uh, so that's a great advantage. Great, and um, I know with electrical radiant systems, there are sometimes limitations to the type of flooring that you can put above them. Um, is, are there any limitations to the flooring that you can put above this? There are virtually none. Electric radiant systems are, there's two categories in our industry. There's really floor warming and floor heating. Uh, floor warming is when you want to make the tiles warm when you get out of the shower in your bathroom and electric radiant is a great way of doing that. In fact, we send a lot of people who call us up looking to do that in their houses. We tell them warm where it's not an appropriate product for just doing one small room. It's really ideal for either major remodels and additions or for new construction. That's an, another interesting thing about radiant. People come over to my house all the time. They want to feel the nice warm floors. And they're kind of surprised because radiant actually doesn't make the floors terribly warm. It makes them very mildly warm. They're very neutral feeling. In fact, I often tell people that the most remarkable thing about a warm board system is really nothing. Uh, you don't see any registers or uh, wall radiators or any sign of any heat in your house. You don't hear it. It's deadly silent. Uh, you walk around feeling comfortable all the time, you're not really aware that you have a heating system. And to me, that's the ideal heating system, is the one that you don't notice. And um, can you talk a little bit about the sustainability um, and the energy efficiency of the product? Well, we are one of the most energy efficient ways to heat a home. There's a competition run every two years by the Department of Energy called the Solar Decathlon. It's a proving ground for some of the uh, highest energy efficiency uh, building systems uh, that are done. Uh, it's a competition amongst major universities. Twenty universities are allowed to submit entries. Uh, the first time it was run in 2002, it was won by the University of Colorado. They were the only university that came with a warm board house. These are about 800 square foot houses that are built at the home campus, then taken down to Washington and uh, set up on the mall outside of the Capitol building where a competition goes on in 10 different categories. And the University of Colorado won the competition in 2002. They came back in 2005 and again won it. They were the only university with warm board. By 2007, uh, five uh, universities came, including MIT, which I hear is a pretty good school. It was won by the University of Maryland uh, that year, which had a warm board system. And this year, six out of the 20 entries are going to have uh, warm boards. So it's pretty well established by the best engineers at the best universities that the most energy efficient way to heat your home is a warm board system. That's great. And um, one last question. Uh, do you have any new uh, projects that you're working on? Well, we have uh, a couple of uh, patentable concepts we're working on. Again, warm board is a patented product. Things that enhance warm board in certain categories. I could tell you about it, but I'd have to kill you, so I won't do that. Um, but uh, yeah, we are working on some new projects. We have SF FSC plywood now available that you can buy for uh, warm board. It's a little more expensive than the conventional warm board, but not much more expensive. And some people for whom FSC plywood is terribly important, we have that available now. Oh, and I forgot to ask you, where would someone go to get your product? Well, we sell direct. Not only do we have an inventive new product, we have an inventive business model. And it's easy enough to buy um, oh, a computer, let's say from Dell Direct, because you can put it in a box and send it UPS to somebody's house. But with Warmboard, we're shipping 3,000 pound pallets around the country. And I would say almost as important as inventing the product was inventing our business model. We've gotten very, very efficient at sending Warmboard everywhere on the planet. We have two installations in Antarctica. If you want to know how cold a climate it can work in, try the South Pole. We've sent uh, our product to Japan, uh, all over Europe, uh, done some projects in the Mediterranean. Um, so it's uh, certainly you know up in Canada. Really, that's always been the number one driving reason behind buying Radiant has been comfort. Number two is typically energy efficiency. And uh, these days, if you use a warm board system, you can lower your heating bill up to 40% by using a warm board system. So it's a pretty dramatic improvement in energy efficiency. And where do the products get shipped from? We uh, ship out, we have several reload centers around the country. Uh, there's, there's one in uh, Colorado, one in Pennsylvania, one in California, and we will uh, ship to any job site anywhere. So do you ship local from those facilities? Or? Yes, we do. Okay. And uh, so we only charge you freight from those facilities, we don't charge you freight across the country. And um, we have very good technical support. Uh, we find that people uh, who have never seen it before quickly learn how to use it. Again, it's just conventional subfloor. It's not hard to figure out. And uh, most contractors, once they've used warm board once, they never use anything else. They just find it so much easier to use it than the old concrete systems, which were messy, wet, very heavy on the structure. They often required upsizing of joists. They often required changing your frame around on a number of, of ways. They changed floor heights. It's a lot of downside to a concrete system. And, but with warm board, you get uh, a very fast reacting, very energy efficient, uh, easy to use system. Great. Okay. Well, I'd like to thank you so much for your time. Thank it's good you to meet for you. Talking to me. Yeah. Thank you. This is Tally reporting to you from the PCBC conference, 2009 in San Francisco. Thank you for watching.